Well, summer is the perfect time to enjoy a cool treat, but a lot of the treats that we like to have are not always good for us. Here to talk to us about some healthy options is Andrea Donsky. She is a nutritionist. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So these are the things that kids go to convenience stores. They don't need a lot they of money them. to buy. They love them. They're <laughs> sweet. They're colorful. And you say, eh, they're bad. Well, certain ones. So certain what we want to do is avoid the ones that have artificial colors in it. And they have artificial sweeteners and they can have artificial flavors and preservatives. So for example, you'll see these have artificial colors in it. You see how bright they are? Right. They're kind of fluorescent. Nothing looks like that naturally. Right, exactly. So they're a little fluorescent. So what we want to look for is a freezer that has 100% fruit juice. So you'll see these have 100% fruit juice, not as fluorescent because they don't have the artificial colors and the flavors and the preservatives. So this would definitely be the healthier option. They both are very similar in calories, about eight or nine calories a piece. So I would say stick to the one that has 100% fruit juice. But at the same time, you say we should also be careful about these no sugar added That's freezes. That's right. It's a little bit deceiving. Yeah. So if it's 100% fruit juice, there will not be any sugar added to it. But when they're not 100% fruit juice, what they will do is they'll use artificial sweeteners to sweeten it. So they'll use something like aspartame or sucralose. And we know that sucralose actually, from research, it shows us that it can decrease the good bacteria in our gut by 50%. Wow. Now, a lot of our immune system stems from our, back, from our gut. So we really want to avoid them. And then aspartame can cause issues like memory loss, headaches, dizziness. So we really want to avoid the artificial sweeteners if we can. Okay, so let's make things at home, beginning yes. with smoothies. This looks delicious. What have you got for us? So what I say is, you know, great to buy the, the ones from the, from the grocery store, but what you can do is you can make your own freezies and popsicles at home. So what you can do is you can make it from a fruit, from a smoothie. So we want to get some healthier ingredients into our kids. Sure, they're, they're junk, they're sweets, but if we can add something a little bit nutritious, it's great for our kids. Sneak it in. So we could add goji berries. Those are really high in antioxidants. It's a whole food. We could add almonds. You eat those dry. Yeah, they're delicious snacks. I have one while Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Delicious snack. You could add fish oil. So they'll get their omega-3s. These are a swirl, and they taste like a creamsicle or a smoothie. So you could add it into your smoothie. You could put some yogurt in. Some Greek yogurt is great because it adds protein. And then you could freeze it. And then you could put it into a, a mold that you can buy from the grocery store. You can use plastic molds, or you can even use stainless steel molds I love now. all these beautiful molds. And you say that they're all BPA-free. BPA and that's free. important. We know that now. Yeah, very important because BPA-free, BPA is known to be a hormone disruptor. So it can lead to issues such as cancer. But also, health Canada is now taking it out of all baby products because it says that it can cause neurological development issues in children. So we really want to stay away from anything that has BPA. Okay. And the good thing about making your own at home is you can use iced tea, you can infuse your own fruits, and you can add your own amount of sugar. You can do it sugar-free or add your own stevia or erythritol. Okay, I don't want to run out of time because we've yeah, got a no couple problem. things to get to. So this is... These are snow cones. snow cones. Really fun for the kids. They love to do it. Make sure that you pick something that's all natural so it's sweetened with all, nat all natural flavors and all natural colors um, because the, the regular ones can have a lot of artificial colors in it, like we talked about. And these are the chocolate volcanoes. And before, as we're talking about it, yeah. we need to have an assistant come yeah. and eat one to prove to us that they're fine. Zach, come on in. So these are great. Well, chocolate <laughs> volcanoes, you can make it with almond milk, you can make it with regular milk, and you this can even mom, add. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is our big taster. And you can add any type of fruit, so it adds antioxidants and fiber, and you can top it off with a little bit of chocolate sauce. And it's a really oh, great that alternative delicious. that the kids love. These are great ideas. Andrea, thank you so much. Thank Zach, you. How is it? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. There you go. That's all you need. We'll be right back after this.